What's up guys, RC Thunder here. Today I'm going to be going over the first event, the first real event, in the season of Heritage. Which is Swine of Incense Day. Yes. So we're finally getting another proper incense day. It's about time. I mean, the last one we had was all the way back in the beginning of the season of Legends. So... I'm glad we're finally getting another one. So, the main featured Pokemon during this event is Swinub. And, if you were to evolve Pile of Swine during event hours, you would get a Mammal Swine with the exclusive move Ancient Power. If you've been if you played Swinum Community Day, then I wouldn't really go for this one. But even if you wanted to go for it, Ancient Power is not really good for Mammal Swine anyway, so I'm probably gonna go for it just because I missed out on Swinum Community Day. And also because it'll be a nice trophy to have. And who knows, maybe one of these days it might get buffed in the future. <sighs> there will be an event exclusive field research. And there will be an item bundle containing two incense which will be available in the shop for only one Pokecoin. This is an ice and ground type incense day because Swinub and its family is, an, is a ground and ice type. It's an ice and ground, but the combination doesn't matter. Either way, it has ice and ground for its typing, and the spawns for the different hours will be as such. From 11 to 12, 1 to 2, and 3 to 4, you'll be able to find Seal, Jinx, Sneasel, Snow Runt, Snover, Vanilla, and if you're lucky, you might find Galarian Darumaka. All of these can be shiny except for the Vanillite and Galarian Darumaka. I would go for Sneasel checks because Sneasel is in fact a shiny boosted Pokemon. Because Incense Days don't provide their own shiny boosts. But if you focus on the Pokemon featured that do have shiny boosts. Such as Sneasel and a certain other Pokemon that I'll get to in a second feature during this event. Then you could get yourself a shiny. But yes, Sneasel is shiny boosted. So I, if you want shiny Sneasel, then I check everyone I see. I managed to catch three shiny Sneasels during the Sneasel research day. That was like a year ago now. But I still managed... A shiny would still be nice. And all of these can be shiny except for Vanilla and Darumaka. <coughs> Next we have the ground type hour. Which I think is actually a lot better. Because... The Pokemon featured are Onyx, Cubone, Rhyhorn, Wooper, Fampy, Barboach, and Larvitar. And if you're lucky, you might find Larvitar. So Larvitar is not going to appear as common as these, but it will still be featured. So that's really all you need to know. Please keep in mind that all of these spawns are incense only. Some people have been getting confused because although Hoopa's arrival acted like an incense day, it wasn't technically an incense day because it had wild spawns too. So this is our first tr true real incense day in a while. So please remember that the spawns are only incense spawns. And I would go for Onyx because Onyx is already a pretty rare Pokemon as it is. And I'm pretty sure Onyx hasn't spawned in the wild since Kanto Tour, which was literally almost a year ago. So, yeah, 
And also, like Sneasel, it is also a perma-boosted Pokemon. So, yeah, i definitely go for it when I had the chance. Before seasons were even a thing, I did manage to catch a random shiny Onyx in the wild, which I evolved into a shiny Steelix, which I'll put a picture of it right now on screen. Which is cool. But hopefully I can get a shiny Onyx to complete the family. Cause Onyx was already a pretty rare spawn, so I was pretty I was just I I kinda wanted to keep his at Onyx for a while. But I was too excited and, you know. But yeah. Rem please remember that they are only incense spawns. So like, this is kind of a play at home event. Because you don't really have to go anywhere to play this event. What I like about incense days is that you don't really, that you don't really have to go anywhere to participate in this event. Because we already found that during the season of Heritage, we're already going to have a boosted incense effectiveness, even when you're stationary. So you'll be getting like tons of spawns, even when you're not on the go. So unless you have like plans, then I wouldn't recommend leaving the house just for this event. But yeah, this will be a pretty good event. Really happy they're finally giving us another in another incense day. Hopefully they'll give us a research day. Maybe in January or February. Maybe February they'll give us a Johto Pokemon. But yeah. It's still a really cool thing featured here. So yeah, I hope you found this helpful. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.